somehow the flux through the surface is related uh, you know in some sense you can if you know say what the gauge potential is on the boundary of this circ of this disk you can tell what the flux is inside okay now if i had something sitting on the boundary and kind of you know able to uh, sample the gauge potential somehow suppose it's a a kind of a spy satellite if you like that can somehow calculate A, <clears throat> the spy satellite is called an electron, then, you know, if the spy satellite had a way of computing this integral, it would be able to tell what flux is there inside, right? So that's exactly what happens, because if I now look at the gradient operator, then we know that in the Schrodinger equation, in the Schrodinger equation, you know, P will get replaced by, it'll get replaced by, when we turn on a gauge field, it'll get replaced by P minus Q by C of A, assuming that phi is zero. In this case, phi is zero. So now if I look at the, this operate, you know, this operator, say in the cylindrical uh, coordinate system, then what will happen is in the cylindrical coordinate system, we'll have this gradient operator will get replaced by the gradient operator minus IE over H bar C of A. Effectively, what is happening is that the del by del phi operator in the gradient operator gets replaced by del by del phi minus i e by h bar c <clears throat> b rho a squared divided by two okay because that is uh the a outside so where and does the i come from for uh this i yes sir Oh, because uh, you know p has i in it right oh okay yeah. so uh <clears throat> so when this happens that means the eigenvalue problem you know for the electron you know with the magnetic field turned on changes. It depends now. It now depends on A phi. And therefore, the energy levels of the electron sorry electron changes so even though the electron does not have access to and this is the important bit even though the electron does not have 
any direct contact with the non-zero B field, its energy levels are nonetheless affected by the presence sorry, presence of the B field via the electrons coupling to the gauge potential. Okay, so that's a long sentence, but hopefully understandable. Even though the electron uh, does not have any direct contact with the non-zero B field, its energy levels are nonetheless affected by the presence of the B field via the electrons coupling to the gauge potential. And that's because the Hamiltonian is changing. 